Albuquerque has gone to the dogs in a good way. Recently, a national company ranked the city 11th in the nation for dog parks because of the access here, the quality, and of course, our climate. City officials aren't stopping there, though. No, nope. there's a new initiative that they help might help them climb further up in those rankings. Yeah. Between city and state capital outlay funds, city officials have $2 million going to the dogs. Felice Romero joins us from right across the street at a dog park that's seen some big renovations there. Felice, how many dog parks does the city want to add here? Ryan, right now they have 13 dog parks that are open, but they want to double that number. And the mayor says this isn't some far off 10 year plan either. They want to get this done in the next year and a half. Congratulations, dogs. You get a new park? Go, go, go. Dog owners and their four legged friends are about to have a lot more options when it comes to burning some of that energy. Tails are going to be wagging all over Albuquerque. City officials gathered at the Triangle Dog Park in southwest Albuquerque Thursday morning to announce a big project. Now, our city in general does a good job with dog parks, so it's not like we're trying to solve a problem here. Instead, it's actually the opposite. We're trying to demonstrate national leadership with number of dog parks per capita. Doubling the amount of dog parks in Albuquerque. We really are, are aiming for uh, equitable distribution of these great park uh, amenities across our city so as many Burkenos as possible have uh, easy access to some of the great park and recreation features in our city. This news was well received by dog owners like Frank Slocum, who finds himself running his dog Bubba every day. That'd be great. I'd like to see some come over closer to where I am, where I, I live. Um, but this is great to have them have more uh, places to go so they don't get tired of just going to the same place all the time. The city has 11 mini dog parks on the drawing board right now. These dog parks will range from a tenth of an acre to an acre, while the traditional parks will be bigger and offer more to dogs and their owners. Those things could include more shade structures and play features for the puppies um, and lighting. But the mini dog park is really going to be a great strategic way to enhance access uh, to dog parks for our, our dogs and their owners. The Parks Department says they've been testing a lot of different surfaces to see what's best for dogs, especially in this heat. So each park will either have wood chips or crushed up gravel. Back to you. Okay. Police, thanks so much. We were talking in the newsroom. I think we need a dog splash pad. I'm just putting that out there for the city. Two million bucks. You know, uh, there you go. Let's see if we can get it done. <laughs> All right. Police, thanks.